question here, Adelaide. What are you going to work through as a group, as a leadership group? Yeah, um, obviously it is. Um, looking forward to having a bit of a refresher too. Um, you know, obviously getting that stage of the year, we're both starting to get sore, but um, you know, we'll be looking just to, just to, like you said, reflect on um, you know, what's probably gone wrong so far and, and the areas we need to improve on. Is the season finals impossible now, you think? It's not impossible. We, we won't give up on the season, you know, no matter what stage it is. We'll keep fighting it out, but it's obviously going to get really tough now. I think we need to win, you know, 10, 10 out of the 11 or something like that. So we'll keep fighting and, um, you know, uh, we'll look forward to the Gold Coast. Is the game style there or the performances, do you think it can lift enough to be playing that type of things and maybe make the finals? I think I think we can, yeah. I think in patches we've shown that um, when we play in our best, we we you know we are competitive with the best teams that we showed against probably Hawthorne and Fremantle. But um, you know, the last two weeks have been really disappointing, and we haven't been able to um, do it on a consistent basis. Is it a that Sandow used the weekend that was challenged to win eight out of ten over the next ten games should burn as a fire in your belly? Is there a reason why we're still debating where Adelaide's hunger is, particularly after that preliminary final loss? Um, Last season would roll on for this year. Yeah. More hungry in the group. Yeah, it is. No, the boys are definitely hungry, and you know we are working really hard, um, you know, to get our season back on track. And things haven't gone our way, um, you know, our injury, but also also performance. Um, you know, we take full responsibility of that as a playing group, but um, you know, majority of us haven't haven't you know, played to the standard we did um, last year. And, you know, the strength of our group is that you know when we perform well, we've got weighted numbers, and and at the moment we're not getting that. Was the pre-season talk and expectations of top four and that sort of thing that you know might just roll on from last year is that unrealistic? No, I didn't think so. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't mention about finishing top four or something. We just spoke about you know building on last year and and you know maintaining that sort of high standard and unfortunately you know things haven't gone the, the way you know we would have liked at the moment and, and obviously we're just looking forward to you know for the rest of the year trying to get back our consistency in our game and, and yeah. Just as a snapshot, what's gone right, what's gone wrong? It's gone, it's gone right, I think we've I think we've found a um, you know a few great young players that have come through we've seen um, obviously carriages are probably the standout of the young fellas um, I think Danger's taking his game to another level. Um, Sloney as well. Um, you know, we've got we've got game times into you know Rory Laird and, and Luke Brown and you know those sort of players that you know will you know be in the team for a long time in the future. So obviously the things that you know probably gone wrong is is consistency um, and as I mentioned before, um, just players not not playing to a high enough standard and um, we're not getting enough contributors every week. All the changes that happened to Adelaide, the one area that didn't have a personal shift was the midfield. Is there a reason why the expectation of the best midfield in the competition hasn't held up? I think there's there's obviously different parts to it, but I think um, you know, uh, losing Tex early on probably pulled danger away from the midfield as much. Um, you guys have probably noticed that Tomo's been playing forward a lot more as well. Um, so the personnel's changed a little bit there and, and you know, uh, you know, Sloney has obviously played a lot more in there, and, and Bernie's Bernie's gone back in the midfield. So the personnel has changed a little bit. Um, so I guess it's sort of a hard thing because you know I wish we could have you know five or six dangers and you know a few Tomos as well that we could play in the midfield and end up forward. Is hey, Tomo going forward? Is that more to do with finding some goal kicking to replace those blokes, or does he just need a bit more protection because he's getting a bit sore this season? Yeah, a bit of both. Um, I think he's just generally just getting a bit sore because he obviously plays a pretty demanding role for the team, and you know, you know, the boys rely on him a lot. Which he's carried a lot of expectation for us this year. And, um, but like like you said before, it's good to be able to get Danger and Tom up there. But you know, we're, we're, they're, they're taking away from our, from the midfield too. What do you plan on doing personally over the Personally, um, I think uh, you know, take away the Kangaroos game. I think I've been building sort of a, you know pretty good form for. You know, best part probably six to eight weeks now. Um, I think the challenge now is to, you know, I uh, I really tried to work out, you know, how to be a good AFL footballer, and I think, um, you know, that's, that's sort of what I was doing early on in the year. Um, obviously, things weren't going as well as all the like. So um, now it's just to get back and, and worry about my core business, and that's making sure I'm, I'm giving the boys first supply of the ruck and 
and obviously, you know, the rest of it comes with it, um, you know, when I'm doing the things that I'm meant to be doing. So that confidence has been building over the last six weeks, has it taken a bit of a hit at the start of the season, you think? Or? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's, it's was, you know, something new to me. It's, um, you know, I've, I've played heaps of AFL footy. Um, you know, I'm only, only seven ga 70 game player, so I've still got a lot to learn about how to be a good AFL footballer and, and what it requires. And, um, you know, I've, I've definitely learnt so much this year. Um, you know, going forward, I think that's going to hold me in really good stead. What is some advice you got like, in terms of trying to deal with those, those, uh, those props? Yeah, I think um, just just simplify things and just get back to get back to what you do well. Um, I think at times at the start of the year, I um, you know coming off a good year, I probably tried to grow my game too much, and um, you know was worrying about other things and and you know worrying about the team more and stuff like that. Whereas I, and I went away from doing the things that I need to do, and that's and that's you know, ruck well and obviously follow up and, and support the midfield. And feedback so recently has been that you, 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 you have been improving? Yeah, definitely, definitely improving, but still not the standard I want to be. Um, you know, I've got pretty high expectations of my, my own game. and um, You know, I'm, I'm probably one of those blokes that needs to still find that consistency through a game um, and, and just keep doing everything right. Where's Sean McKenna at the moment? Yeah, I think he's. I think he's been tracking along all right. Um, I think he's building into the role of, um, you know, key forward ruckman. I think it's a it's a pretty tough role to play. Um, and, and once again, you know, he hasn't played you know heaps of AFL footy. I think it's it's been good good exposure for him to come in and and I don't know what he's probably played eight, eight or so games now this year. So um, unfortunately, on the weekend, you know, someone has to get subbed, and you know, unfortunately for him, it was it was him. So. Um, but I think he's going right. Um, I think he's just yeah trying to find his little niche in the team and, and understand how to play that role to to the best. So I'm going to take you through key point. It's a key debating point of the game on Saturday. The Lydia. Yep. Was the instruction wrong, or did the players not get to work to that instruction? How to deal with it? Yeah, we I think as players we were probably too slow to react. Um, Delidio wasn't the one that we wanted to 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 let let go free because obviously we saw firsthand how damaging he is. Um, you know, we, um, VB went to him after half time and sort of limited the, his effect, but obviously you know, the, the damage is almost done from, from him in the first half. So as players, we probably got it wrong and um, you know, that's something we have, to, we have to change on field a lot quicker because as you saw on the weekend, it was too late. Surely, like first quarter, it was an individual's responsibility or, or is this... Forward line, defense? yeah. So yeah, it was, it's more of a forward line thing. I think stoppages, um, you know, we needed we needed someone to go to him, and obviously, you know, sort of would rather leave Morris or someone like that who's not not as damaging as Delia. Um, you know, as a group, um, you know, coaches and players, we, we should have gone on to that quicker. Sam, within a kick of a grand final last year, five seven. Now, is it possible you overachieved last year? Um, no, not at all. Um, you know, we're we're very confident in the team we got. Um, you know that we're, you know, we've got a team that's going to play. You know, can be can be a Premiership contender um, when when we're getting everything right. But um, yeah, we had a great year last year, and um, you know, obviously it hasn't gone to plans this year. But um, you know, we're still very confident in the group we got and and, and going forward. Is it, is it frustration creeping in a little bit that it's not happening? Yeah, uh, definitely. That's and that's part of footy. And, um, it, it, it does get frustrating at times because things just, just aren't clicking at the moment. We're not getting enough contributors across the board. Um, as I mentioned before, our strength is, is weighted numbers and, and we're not getting that and that's why we've been really hard on each other as a, as a playing group and, and um, you know, been demanding on each other because we want to get that consistency. When this all ends this season, what's the bare minimum that you want from this year? Particularly in the way you've seen from outside of this footy. In terms of just like wins loss or just respect and comp again? Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's the thing. Um, I think at times this year, you know, the Sydney game's the one that stands out the most. You know, it's, um, we we let that one go. You know, too far to lose by seventy seven points, and even the game against Richmond, you know, we didn't have it on the weekend. It was wasn't it? it was a you know, a bad game too. So I think we need to eliminate that, and we need to get back to playing Crows footy like we did last year, and and that's not um, you know letting teams get away and. Um, fighting each game out um, to our best. Yeah, n we got yeah full confidence in, the, in our structure. Um, you know, we play we play final style football, and that's what Sando really wants to drive in the group, and that's what the boys are buying into. And 
um, is that cons contested style and, and the style that we know is going to hold up when, when finals come around. So what's the Crows brand stand for today? How do you think that's viewed today? Yeah, well, that's that's obviously what we're we've given each other really harsh feedback about at the moment is um, we've gone away from the things that you know last year was it was a good step towards it and, and building the respect and um, you know stuff like I think we're just going away from our contested footy. I think number one we're number one in the comp last year for contested footy and stoppages and I think this year we're just we're back mid pack. So something we really pride ourselves on is, is winning the hardball and. Um, you know, it's something we've gone away from. Sorry, mate. Yeah. So that's that's you know going back to that question. That's why we've got full confidence in the game plan, but we're not executing it. You know, like you've mentioned there, and um, that's where we need to get better. Um, is that you know, like you said, they they are attitude things, but. Um, you know, we need to we need to make sure we're doing all those little things because that's what, as I said before, that's what we pride ourselves on. The centre of the coaching staff to sort of deliver a, a key message um, for the players to reflect on heading into the final. No, we ha we haven't had a review on that yet, but I'm sure we'll touch on that and and you know we'll, we'll set little goals to um, you know going forward. What is the plan over the bye? Like how are we structured over here? Training sessions as well? Yeah, we'll have a couple of days off, um, a couple of days off now, and then we'll come back later in the week and.